What are you going to wear? I don't know. And, uh, take, take those boxes away. This diet is going to kill you. Mrs. Stanhope? Mrs. Stanhope. She wanted to see me. So she's making a collection for St. Boniface's Church, the Restoration Fund. So I said, of course, she could come in, let her in. You? You, you let a stranger in the house, you? <gasps> Mrs. Stanhope's not a stranger. Laurie! Uh, oh. 20 pounds! <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting on the twist. You're like your mother. I'm getting you talk about my mother. Hey, I'm finished with that. Finished with that? Well, I'm finished with you. Get out of my house. You ruined it. You ruined it my whole life. <laughs> uh. It's strange when you think you truly believe you know a person. And then they suddenly disappear, and you're left numb. Not knowing if they're ever coming back. I waited. I truly waited. But time vanishes. Drifts away and fades, like a moonlight flit. Therefore the moon, the governess of floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And thorough this distemperature we see the seasons alter. Hoary-headed frosts fall in the fresh lap of the crimson rose. And on old Hyam's thin and icy crown, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is as in mockery set. So you're Greg. This is your script. It is. Just like Sam, some of those boys won't come back. 